Frank was left abandoned when his shop decided to replace him with a younger, better-looking trolley. The RSPCT saved his life. Molly was left in an alley, neglected and abandoned. The RSPCT found her. Billy was chained to a lamppost, left to rust in his own filth. The RSPCT set him free. Jemima nearly drowned when she was left to the mercy of the sea. The RSPCT rescued her. A fist, a foot, a wall. Tommy was left for dead. After a stranger lost his temper, then brutally attacked him. The RSPCT brought the man to justice. Many trolleys have resorted to prostitution as a way of surviving, often being paid just a pound for hours of abuse, just so that they have a shelter for the night. This sort of abuse is happening up and down the country, sometimes in broad daylight. The RSPCT set them free. Some trolleys have been left to the hands of teenage vandals looking for cheap joyrides. The RSPCT stopped them. Crying, and I got no excuse. And is that all right? We need to open our eyes to see the suffering that's all around us. Give my gun away when it's loaded. Is that all right? You don't shoot it. How am I supposed to hold it? The RSPCT right? are the only ones with a 24 hour cruelty and advice line, answering over a thousand calls a day. The RSPCT are the only ones with a network of inspectors who protect and save over 5,000 trolleys each year. The RSPCT are the only ones who prosecute and get over 2,000 convictions each year to protect trolleys from harm. We are here for any trolley in distress all year round. We rely on you, as the RSPCT receives no government funding. We can only do our work because people who care help us. The RSPCT are the only ones who find loving new homes for over 12 trolleys each year. You can help us do all this and more for just £2 a month and show that you care. Please call 0800 876 5539. That's 0800 Trolley. Thank you.